Welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to work on a um, cocoa, cocoa bean farm. And I'm going to be using uh, your pistons to move, you know, because it only grows in jungle wood. So I'm going to add some jungle wood and have pistons pushing it back and forth to knock the beans off. No way to automatically plant them, but at least that will collect them all up. Then I'll have a rail system under the floor as I've gotten the other farms over there because I'm just too lazy to actually pick them up by myself. So I might as well get started here. I've kind of got this uh, floor plan laid out here. I may need to expand it a bit that way. And I'm only putting the cobblestone there well because I'm going to have redstone on top of it. But I want to save the dirt because I'm going to need it to finish up the rest of these uh, these rings. So if this is the wall, I'm going to at least want, and I may move the wall maybe to this. So this will be one column here. If I put the wall over there like that, pick this up. So that'll be, let's just do that. Oh, of course, I'm off by one. Off by one. I have no end of resources because I've got to get rid of those islands. Like we saw in the last episode, but I've got all these islands over here. So if I just, every time I run out, like on this one, if I'm running out of anything, I go over here and just sort of dig out what I need and keep going. So hopefully I should have enough. So anyhow, we've got this. This is going to be the underground part. You're not going to really see it. I wonder, do these actually... So if I've got four, 13 here... Okay, okay, it doesn't change it. I was hoping so. I wasn't sure if it would change the light level. I have a redstone. Is this going to work? Yeah, this will work. We'll do this. Go here. So we've got the redstone's going to go all the way through there. Now I'm going to run a power button in here someplace. Probably right about there, which means I need to dig out a wall over here. So whatever the wall is going to be, it'll be up one level, like that. Oops, I saw a block of dirt. Oh, I saw a couple of blocks of dirt. Oh, go away, go away. I don't want to have time to bother with you. So whatever I'm using for the wall over here, which will probably be, probably do stone brick, like around the edge here. But I'm going to need to run a line of redstone into here. I'm probably going with the, probably the least convenient way to do this. I need a button to turn it off and on. So let's do that. That should give me one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm probably going to seven, ten. Probably go all the way there. Okay. So I'll have a switch over here and a building or something over there which activates the pistons up and down. And that's what this is for. So I'm kind of got to build it from the ground up. And then if the wall is over here, like this will be the wall, or the wall will be there. I need, I've got to have at least a couple spaces around it just for convenience. Not really for necessity, but if I'm walking around, it makes it easier. And we'll have the pistons like this. Uh, 
of the wall just to show let's see so there'll be logs on top of that and it will push them up so I'm gonna need a minecart at what level are we at so we've got another one here I think I'm gonna have one more row so let's do two of them and they'll be right here And I just want two two blocks in between when I'm upstairs so when I'm replanting it's not too inconvenient I don't think that'll work well if I do that Ooh. Oh, yeah, that makes it easier. Which means I probably could have had it. Could have had them going into that side. Would have saved on a little bit of redstone. I don't really care, but. Oh, that doesn't. Oh, probably. Probably we're having the problem. Probably having the problem. We're definitely having the problem. There. Let's do that. Oh no, no. Do that. Luckily, repeaters are easy because actually, no. I think I need. I don't remember. Do I need a? Uh, Quartz for a repeater. Now I need report rather quartz for a comparator. For the repeater, oops, go to the redstone aisle. The, oh yeah, that's just stone and redstone. So, so this is the. Oh, hmm. No, oh, it doesn't go into there. Okay, so much for my fancy idea. We're just going to pull it up and do it the non fancy way. So we're just going to have a feed into here, too. Get that up. I need to dig all this out. Probably f two, more, two more rows here, or three more rows at least. So let me dig all this out and get this final redstone set. And then we'll have the bottom done. And then we can move up one level and put in the floor, which is going to be used for doing, you know, the floor where the rail cart is going to run on and pick up items from the main floor. So I'll be back in a second. All right. So I've got the foundation set up. So this will be, it's going to be very simple. It's just going to have two rows. So I'll plant the uh, cocoa beans on the two rows here. And then the pistons will push them up to knock the beans off. And then I'll have another set of pistons on top. We'll get to that to push it back down into place. So to collect it, I need a floor here. So this is going to be the collection floor. Once this is in, we won't be able to get down here where I'm at. So we better make it good. It's just going to be plain stone. I'm trying to think, I don't know how far the cocoa beans will fly off when, the, when they fall down. This whole thing will be covered. I've got the lighting down there, so hopefully I won't get any mobs. And luckily, the redstone is really simple, so I'm not going to need to do any tweaking or adjusting. That's all going to be done um, at the point of uh, ignition, you know, where the switch is. 
I'll have delays for so this will be no delay and then I'll have a long delay up top so once this pushes up then it'll drop down and then the top one will push down and go back up so that's the uh, that's the mechanism I did play around you know quite a bit trying to get some I had some fancy ideas in my head um, they don't work out in real life I am out of stone. Okay, let me go get some stone, lay this all down, and then um, I will start getting the track out here. And we can move on to the next layer. Alrighty now. Okay, so I've got the uh, beginning of the walls going up. And I think that came out pretty good, actually. I, not what I originally planned on, but necessity, because I got the floor in. And then the minecart going back and forth here, which is going to pick up stuff from the floor above. And I had to kind of kick these out because I needed just a tiny little bit of a boost here. It was making it, but it was like going at a crawl by the time it got over there. And I can't put anything on any of these rows here because of the pistons. As soon as I put like a redstone or whatever, the pistons pop up, so... I finally came up with the idea of putting it here and that seems to work and it kind of goes with the new architecture I've come up with. and I've got this uh, jet out here so this building is going to be like storage um, eventually I'll run the hopper minecart up and unload into chests over here so we don't have to pick it up so next thing we need to do the main floor so this is all sub basement right now We're going to do, and actually I don't need, I don't think this needs to be jungle wood. But I'm just going to leave it jungle wood anyhow. So let's do that. Like that. And let's do... So these are the logs that the pistons are going to push up and down. And that's what we're going to plant our cocoa beans on. So once we have this, floor level is going to be right here. So that's all going to be floor level right there. I'm going to go all the way around like this. And I need lighting in here. So I think I'm just going to pop maybe one here, one here. And I was thought I could put yeah, I thought maybe I was going to put carpet on there, but I, it's not going to work with carpet on there. Because I don't think it's going to pick up anything through the carpet. So if we do two and two, and we go over here, and we do two there. Just want to keep it Oh, that wasn't my silk touch. Okay. Oh, well. So this is giving us room to plant. And then we can always walk around. Do that. I'm going to have to yeah, leave the lighting. It's kind of up there, up there. Yes. And then... Right? No, there's only one. Let's do one there. Like that. And this is going to go across. So right about there. Do that. 
Okay. So that's the main floor for everything. Oh yeah, that gives me enough room. And then down here it gives me enough room for my delays. So that, that'll work out pretty good. So like here, I want... This is going to be... Oops, where's my... I'm sure I have another block around here. Um, don't I have another stack of jungle wood? Oh, there it is. If not, I think I know. I think I know where I can get some more jungle wood if I need it. So this will be what you can see in the room. So this is all the plantable area. And then this will be the ceiling. I don't know what the ceiling is going to be made out of. We'll just do this for now. So that'll be the ceiling. So what I really need is right at this level. Right there is where the pistons are going to go. find them. I know I had another oh, wheel. So we're really not going to need this top layer. Yeah, because that'll be hidden by this ceiling. And then the pistons will go there. No, 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 that's not right. Because it needs to be up one level. Pistons need to go up this level. Like that. There. Because these blocks need to be pushed up one into the piston. So if I got the pistons there, when the when they fire on the bottom they'll push this up and then those then they'll retract and then this will fire and push them down. And that should knock all the cocoa beans off and into my waiting hand. So I just need to figure out what I want to make the roof out of, or the ceiling. I don't know yet. I haven't even figured out what I'm going to make the walls out of. So right there, yeah. Maybe some kind of plank. Yeah, maybe some kind of plank. I'm not sure. But everything should be getting picked up now. So if anything falls on the floor there, once the minecart comes around, 
which it should in a minute. And there we go, it picks it up. Like that, okay. It's one of those builds. Normally I build the building and then I try and cram the mechanism inside. This time I kind of planned, at least planned it out a little bit. So I can build it up from the ground up. And you really kind of got to build it from the ground up because you can't like put all this in there and go underneath there and try and put that track in there. I, when I was goofing around in creative, I found that out because I built all this and then I tried to put the track in there and it, I ended up just taking out a lot of this to put the track in. So, so now we just need a wall. And a roof. Okay. And then the entrance will be over there. So let me let me work on that and figure out what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go with maybe jungle wood roof. Yeah, if I go with the jungle wood roof here, I think that'll be okay. And then the walls. Hmm, I'm gonna stick with I'll have to look. I had notes on what kind of walls to use. I'm going to have to find, look those up and find out because I can't remember right now. I do want glass. I just need another layer here. And I don't think it's going to be stone brick. I don't think it's going to be brick either. So. Brick or stone brick. I think it's going to be wood. All right. Got the uh, walls up and the windows in, or not, or where the windows are going to be. So like that, this is all going to be there. I'm going to need to put a front door in going up here. And then like, I just think of putting the green glass there. You just make gigantic windows out of it. Now I've also did a bunch trying to get the redstone to trigger the two different pistons. Because I've got all the pistons in place now. And I did do some filming on me messing with the redstone. But that took way too long. There was a bunch of stuff just that you don't want to see. Because really it was just trial and error, just me running lines of redstone up and down. So that's how the windows are going to look. And I'll do something over on this side. I think... Maybe I'll just make a gigantic window looking out over there. That's kind of cool. So i got this, the button here. This is going to activate it, push it up and down. And if we take a look at my spy holes here. Everything's all the way down, and it's all ready to be pushed up. So if you come up here and push that, everything goes up. And that would knock anything that was off. So those are all open down there, and it's all pushed down there. Now I don't have it going upwards yet. So where, how do I want to do that? think unfortunately I'm gonna have to do maybe something like oh, I wonder if I can do so let's disconnect this so it doesn't monkey around down below so if I got that there and I do this does this actually do anything with that What do I need? I need... Some redstone. Like that. And can I actually see it if I push that button? Does not do anything. Dang it. So I was hoping I could push that button. It activates that. And that's going to go down there. And then I also need it to go up. 
I have a feeling I'm going to have to do... I placed... Oh, there we go. Oh. I was in the scaffolding, I guess. If I place a block there... Like that. I knew these slabs are coming handy. I should be able to do another one there. Like that. Okay. So if I push this button now, it should activate both of them. So it's going to go down, push the pistons up, and then I need to come up here and push them down. And this is where the delay comes in. So I need it to come out here and go over to this button right there. Did I catch that? Oh, I caught the button. Okay. I'm going to need one, two, like that. It's going to come through there and it'll activate all the pistons. So we'll see if this works. Cross your fingers. So it's going to push the bottom ones, which won't do anything because they're already up. And then it pushes them down. Like that. Let's um oh let's do the torch test. So they're all the way down, which is where we want them. So if I push that, should push them up and then push them back down. Pushed up. Yep. And pushed down. Good. Okay, that works. So that is my harvest system right there. Um, I need, where's my, I do need that slab right there. That there. That'll be good. And I need to hide this wall here. Maybe using like some planks like that. I can't do anything about that one, but maybe I can do like that. think I can take that corner out there because if I take that corner out it's going to mess up my foundation yeah if I take that corner I'll mess up my foundation I wonder if I what's here nope can't do there I was going to try and Put a ladder down, but there are no places for a ladder down here. I will stick a torch there just in case. Let's do that. Something like that. Maybe if I do another one. Uh, no crafting bench. Put a crafting bench here, make it look like it belongs there. Grab some more oak. At least that'll look halfway decent. Maybe while I'm here.
let's do that. So instead of just three, oops, three logs, we'll just uh, put some extra storage there. Perfect. I've got all this going around. I'm just going to finish up doing this. So let me put in the windows and the wall. What time is it? Oh, yeah, things are getting a little late. I don't think I can finish this whole thing and let you see what I'm doing. So I have, I am going to actually end this part today. So I'm going to say this is part one. And then part two will be me putting the roof on, testing it out for harvesting, and then figuring out what to do with the mine carts and the load unload station, which will be over here on this wall. And the front door is right there. So I'm going to say now that I've got all the redstone. Components working. Perfect. I, uh, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode and come back and watch me finish this build in the next one. Have a great day. Bye bye.